Hello, on shape and basketball enthusiasts. Welcome to this tutorial. We will model a basketball and a hoop. We will start with a board here, then go into the sheet metal environment and make that angle here, then the ring, the net. We will use the frame tool for the supports make a rib as well and finally the basketball in the assembly we will import standard parts the bolt the nut and a washer so if at any moment you're missing some part you can access this file I'm working on through the link in the comment section I will put chapters in, in the video so you can access parts of this video directly. So let's start with a sketch on the front plane. Press N for a normal view to that. P to hide those planes. S for the shortcuts. Take the center point rectangle. Place that at the origin. And define the width with 1800 and the height with um, 1040. Okay. Extrude that. Sketch some 22 millimeters. We got our first part, rename that board, give that some white appearance, then start a new sketch on this face. We use our, um, with you, project our edges here. Press O, take those edges, switch direction, and give that a uh, 52 millimeter size. Okay. Then let's make another center point rectangle here size is uh, 600 um, by 440 and add a vertical distance here of 100 two okay here and another offset of those edges to the inside 52 all right let's go into the split command here and we split this face with um, sketch two, okay, and then take those two, shift click, add appearance and give that some dark color like this. All right, we got our board. Next, let's um, build that sheet metal angle. I start a sketch on the right plane. Draw first somewhere here. Now, tangent arc, line, make those two lines equal here. I'll draw a three-point 
arc here. Place a dimension between those two points of 34. Same thing over here. Give that arc a dimension of 222. That radius is 8. And the overall distance is 144. And I place a coincident relationship right here. Then a horizontal relationship there. And our sketch is fully defined. I exit the sketch and go into the sheet metal command here, sheet metal model. I go to the extrude tab, take that line, that one, and that one, and give that a depth of 122. And the thickness to the inside, I turn that around, give that a symmetric definition. And that's it. I accept that. And rename that support plate. Now let's model the ring. For that I start a sketch on this face. That'll be a circle. Here. I give that a diameter of 388 and place one point here. That point, we'll, we'll use that later on for that support. And then with I, coincident, I place that circle on that edge and on that one. And that constrains it completely. I do need to add that dimension here of 188. Okay, I will define one plane with a plane point, take that, take any face like that one, into this sketch on that plane, I project my circle. Make that a construction geometry. Define one axis here. And the um, profile of our ring, a circle with a diameter of 22. I then continue with a revolve around that axis, a new body, I'll call that ring, and change the appearance to red, and so there is interference with our sheet metal part. I will subtract with the ring as our tool from our support plate and keep the tool and hide that plane here. Now let's continue with that support structure 
with that frame, I will start a sketch on that face with a point here. Define that. Um, 22 and 22. So I got this point and that one. I will connect that with the curve. That is a bridging curve with match position. I take that and take that. Oops. Got to switch windows and here. That's it. All right, we got that curve. So I go into the command frame, a round bar. I could um, define the diameter here, the size. Here we get all, all sizes, but in this example, I'll just take those 16 millimeters. Take that curve, and right away it's um, done. But we want to limit the frame and here and parts to trim to that one. Next, I will create that rib here. I need that sketch number three for that and go into the rib command. Take that sketch profile. Thickness is eight millimeters. And extend profile to part. And there uncheck merge ribs and there is our rib except that and then let's mirror over our support here so mirror part mirror that one mirror plane is right except that and call that lateral support and this one the rib and that again lateral support next let's work on the net for that First, I'll hide sketch three. Go on that plane again. This one. Sketch on that. Um, maybe we can make that sketch five visible. And... Um, Start with the spline from that point here. Go down here, escape. We got a spline, we got the spline hang, hang, uh, handles. Let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah. First, let's define the, the height of our net, 344. Then let's define an angle between our handles, 135. Then let's apply a vertical constraint to that. Now let's um, sketch a construction line, right? 
nor sketch. Take that point, take that line and define a uh, nah, diameter value of 202. All right. And let's apply a, a length value for our handle of 144. And, and, and with E, an equal relationship between those two here. And that defines our curve. I exit, go into the revolve as a surface. Take that edge around that axis. Okay. <laughs> now let's go back to that plane one. Start a new sketch with a spline. Start um, at that point at that origin drop that somewhere here exit that have a look make a vertical constraint to that point a co incident to that to our ring let's move that here that like that and make those two equal again. Give them um, an angle of 22. And a length of 144. No, actually, that angle dimension that's between um, that line that handle and that edge here at the bottom that is 22 and then make those two here parallel and that defines our spline fully let's exit the sketch and go into the projected curve here Take sketch eight, take the front plane as a direction, and take that as our target. Okay, so we get that curve here. Let's hide that surface and define a plane here with a curve point, that curve point, that line, accept that, and start a sketch on that plane. And that'll be a circle, origin here, dimension six millimeter, Okay, go into the sweep, a solid sweep of our profile. Sweep path is that. A new body. And give that part seven an appearance. White. Hide that plane. Okay. Now let's mirror that string here over the right plane. Then make a circular pattern of those two around here and 12 times. Okay, we can hide that sketch, huh? 
And just to clean things up, let's make a Boolean operation of these. Keep, we don't want to keep tools, huh? Just a union. Take some time. All right. So there we got our net. Rename net. All right. Let's make a composite part of all we, we got, all our parts there. And now um, we will um, go to the assembly and insert a standard parts there. So these nuts and bolts and washers. So I will make those holes here on that plate and through the board as well. So I'll start a sketch on that face. Some points, one, two, three. And dimension those here, 22. And, hey, I got too many points here, huh? I didn't want that one. Okay, that's the, the origin. But those ones are supposed to be up there, huh? So I'll give those a dimension here. Maybe to that point. Of um, 36. And uh, horizontal dimension of 18 and repeat that here on that side 18 everything's fully defined and I go into the hole command and make a through wall um, hole of 18 millimeters here, all right. So we finished that part. I'll call that part studio here, hoop. So um, I'll switch to the assembly tab, go to insert, choose composite parts, uncheck parts here, and take my um, hoop. I might um, want to fix that there. And now, now let's go to insert um, standard content and the DIN standard bolts and screws. I take the M16 with a washer face and a length of 55. I just say insert. And drop it there. Okay. And I will go to Fastened, take that mate connector and take that edge, accept that. Now let's insert the nut M16 washer face. Okay, I go to insert, all 
I accept that. So we don't really need a washer, huh? So I go to Fastened, take that Mate connector here, hover over that edge, accept that, and exit the command. So we got one instance of that. Let's group those two and create a sub-assembly, move to a new sub-assembly. And we see we got a, a new assembly tab here with our with those two. So I go to insert current document, go to assemblies, take that assembly too, place that there, go to fastened, take that mate connector and that edge, accept that, and we got to do that one more time. Assemblies, assembly two here. Fastened that mate connector and that edge. I press K key on the keyboard. So we got our hoop. We get our plate, we get our ring with a support structure, a rib, our net, those bolts, nuts and bolts. And now it's time for our basketball. I start with a sketch on the front plane, press P, hide those planes, S for that first circle, give that a dimension of 240 millimeters, then a line going down here through the center, one line going over here, and then one more uh, circle, those center points at a distance of 152, and an equal relationship here, and a horizontal constraint. And I'll place some circles here, here, and here, and maybe here. Press E to give all of those an equal um, relationship and a coincident there and a diameter of six, everything's constrained. I'll exit that. Next, I'll go into the revolve, take um, that region, ah, a solid body, a new body, take that, take that, that one, that one, that one, those here, and that one, and that one, around here. But let's make that a uh, one direction revolve with an angle of 90. Accept that, keep that sketch visible. Maybe give that some more basketball color here. Go into the projected curve. 
take that edge and that one. Take that front face. Target is that face and there. Then let's make a sweep, removing, and take that region here. Sweep path is that. And do that again with those two regions. Sweep path is that removing okay hide that plane now we need to define the plane with a curved point here and draw that circle one more time on here Diameter was six. Sweep that, remove, sketch two, sweep path, that. Okay, hide that plane, hide the curves. Mirror, adding that part over here. And then mirror that part over here. And if you want to change the appearance of our revolves, our sweeps, we select those. Take black, maybe too dark, that one. And there is our basketball. Maybe we want to go back to our assembly and insert that basketball here. And well, Put it in some nice position. And if we want to give it a more dramatic appearance, we can go to turn perspective on and look for our favorite angle. Hide that here. And there you have it. We have successfully designed a basketball and a hoop in on shape. This was a fun and simple project that shows off the power of on shape. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.